Hello everyone and welcome to Chat with Nene Alice. If this is your first time tuning in to Chat with Nene Alice, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to send in your comments because together we can all improve on this channel. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be the first person to know whenever I post any new video. And again, viewers, I also want to let you know that August is my bath month and I'm very happy when it's August and I want to send out a special um, shout, out, shout out to everybody that was born in the month of August. So let's the countdown begin for my birthday. Okay, so today we're going to talk about gender and sex. It's a new series that I want us to talk about and then later on, I will invite some other people to come and then we can have a conversation about gender and sex. So first of all, what is sex? We know normally for those of us who have been engaged in the work on gender, we know that the definition for sex is different from the definition for gender. So what is sex? Sex is the biological difference between male and female. And sometimes it can, examples of some of those differences are related to our genitals and at the same time to the genetic differences that we have. So for example, I can say um, I am, I am a, a female because I have projected breast and men do not have projected breast. Okay, that is one example. And we know the other obvious example that women can give birth to babies whilst men cannot. So that's another biological difference. Okay, when it comes to gender, it is a little bit difficult to define. You know, I've seen in so many meetings or in so many programs that I have been that sometimes we struggle to defend gender. But sometimes gender can refer to the, to the role of a male or a female in a society. So for example, what you, what you think a man is, is based on your societal you know, understanding of a male. And what you think a female is, is based on your society understanding of who a female is. And sometimes people can bring it down to our gender roles or maybe an individual concept of themselves or maybe their gender identity. For example, in the community where I was raised, when um, somebody that cooks, that prepares food for the family, you will say this person is, you know, a female. And when the man engages in very, you know, difficult tasks, for example, like brushing or, or um, cutting down of trees, you will say this is a man. Okay, so it depends on the society in which you were born or the society in which you were socialized. Because it is by that that you are able to give the definition. Okay, and um, sometimes um, people can, you know, genetically assign sex to themselves. And it can be different from the sex in which they were born. Okay, maybe I can be a, a female. I was by birth, I am a female. But as you know, as I grow up, I tend to say I am a male. I do things like a man and, you know, I try to, you know, put myself out there as a male figure. The same thing goes to females. Sometimes um, I was born a male, but as I grew up and I begin to interact with people, I can assign the female sex to myself, which sometimes... Uh, um, people refer to as transgender, okay? Or sometimes people can say they are not gender, they are not conforming to gender. But it depends. When it comes to gender, it's so difficult to define and everybody has their own definition with gender. But I just want to say that for our own setting, when you talk about gender, it is what the role that society has assigned to you as a male or as a female. And I think I have given an example of that. Okay, but I also want to give some other genetic factors of an individual. What makes you a male and what makes you a female? Okay, women have 46 chromosomes, including two X's, and men have 
46 including X and Y. Okay, the Y chromosome is dominant and carries the signal for the embryo to become a growing test testes. Okay, we also hear about testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, you know, and all of that. And sometimes it comes to play when we want to understand the, the, the conversation around sex. Okay, so first of all, test testosterone. I, I hope I get it right, but it's testosterone anyway. It is the sex hormone that is responsible for sperm production. And it also affects the bone and the muscle mass. You know, so both men and women have testosterone. Okay, the other one has to do with estrogen. It's one of the two main sex hormones that women have. And it's responsible for, for the female physical features. Men have estrogen too, but it's in a small proportion. Okay, and the other one has to do with progest progestogen. Progestogen, I hope I get it right. It's also a sex hormone that's involved in the menstrual cycle or in pregnancy. However, women have higher level of estrogen and progesterone, and men have higher level of testosterone. So in some cases, a child is born with, with mix between male, female and male genitals. And they are sometimes termed as intersex. We've had stories where um, um, children are being born and they have both male and female parts. And the, sometimes it is the parents that decides what gender can be assigned to that child. Okay, this is because of the level of um, progesterone or estrogen or testosterone that is in that particular baby. Okay, but when it comes to female, we mostly talk about estrogen and progest progestogen. Because the estrogen is responsible for the female physical features. Even though men have estrogen, but it's in a small portion, and the progesterone is responsible also for our menstrual cycles and pregnancy and all of that. So we can say estrogen and progesterone belongs, you know, forms the, the, the female cell. And then testosterone is a sex hormone for sperm production, which, which is normally a male function. And it affects the bone and the muscle as well. So when you see the men, and how they are built, then you know that they have te um, testosterone. So both, even though women have te testo testosterone, but you cannot compare that to when a woman have testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone. So that is the difference. So you can say men have testosterone and women have estrogen and progesterone. But when, you know, it becomes a lot, sometimes the child can born with both sex. And it is the parents that will, you know, take their time off, you know, to explain what that is all about, okay? Or maybe give the child the sex that they want to. So anyway, this is what I have to say to you. I have tried, you know, to, to explain this to you. But if you, if you think I, I, you know, it's not that clear, let's go down to the comment section and, you know, let's discuss it. What is testosterone? What is estrogen? And what is progest progest progestogen? Okay, so that we'll have more conversation around the X and the Y chromosomes. When you have X and Y chromosomes, or when you have Y, 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 or X, X chromosomes, you know, let's have all the conversation around that. I will be happy, you know, to get information from you. I will be happy to learn more from you. Thank you so much. And um, if this is your first time tuning in to chat with Nene Alice, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to send in your comments because together we can all improve on this channel. And um, I welcome your comments. So have a pleasant day and stay blessed.